Sometimes when you walk into certain places, your jaw just drops and you stare and say, wow, we're going to take you to such a place right now. It's in Maryland, and it's the home to a breathtaking scale layout and a fantastic collection of brass model railroad pieces. What you notice when you walk into Howard Zane's basement is that every nook, cranny, and corner is filled with trains. His HO scale layout is realistic, entertaining, and simply impressive. It's nearly two and a half thousand square feet of painstakingly constructed fun. You see principle and passion in how everything is laid out. You see hours and expertise in the often self-designed and scratch-built structures. The Piermont Division of the Western Maryland Railroad is a beautifully scenic depiction of a West Virginia coal hauler. It's more than just an excellent layout, it's a work of art. And the designer is truly an artist. So what is it about model railroading that appeals to a gentleman with impressive credentials in industrial design and fine arts? It's an art form. Uh, model railroaders is a, are conceived as overaged, overweight adults, usually male. Unfortunately, it doesn't have to be that way, but 99% are male. That were conceived as fools that never had a good, the good sense to put their trains away after Christmas. And it's not that way. It is an art form. It encompasses many skills. And better than the word skill, I like to use the word challenge. Because the challenges are carpentry, model building, horticulture, electronics. You can go on and on, even computer technology. And it's, uh, it's sort of like, you know, it's a, it's a microcosm of everything in life. To start, you have to build a bench work, so you, you know, therefore you have to know how to get a, use a power saw or a hand saw and cut wood. Then you have to know how to attach, you know, screw them together and build your bench work. Then from there you build road bed, and that can be made out of plywood or splines or any method you can conceive. And then from there you have to know no, no track laying, wire the track, uh, then you get into scenery, and, uh, and so forth. Now the sky's the limit. Uh, model railroading is, when I said it's an art form, it's multi-dimensional art. If you do a drawing, it's two-dimensional. If you build a relief, a model is three-dimensional, but there are more dimensions. Uh, the other dimensions, when you get into model railroading, you have sound, you have smell, and you have animation. Howard Zane is committed to the integrity and preservation of both the hobby and the fine art of model railroading. His own in-home railroad has been a continual work in progress since he began building it in 1983. The landscape is beautifully crafted. The detail is as excruciatingly accurate as it is visually entertaining. It's a veritable time capsule. Uh, it's a 10 year span from right after the war, WW2, up till about 1955. All the vehicles, people, rolling stock are pretty much accurate for that period. And it's uh, a mythical area in northern West Virginia usually Taylor or Marion counties, where they pull coal out and send it into the major city. So it's really a coal hauling layout. Even though we operate general freight, we have passenger services, peddler freights, and so forth. But it's loosely based on that. As if this wasn't enough to consume the time and talent of one man, Zane has yet another railroad-related passion. He's both an appraiser of, and investor in, beautiful brass model railroad cars, collectible pieces of art. Some of these locomotives have every nut and bolt cast into it that the prototype had. It's the ultimate in detail. You know, there's a lot of painstaking effort that goes into these things. The thing about brass, there's a dichotomy here, is that uh, every year they get better and better as far as quality and mechani you know, mechanical, you know, just mechanical, it's almost up to mechanical perfection, but the chance of it ever running on a layout gets slimmer and slimmer because of the price. The second worst sound in the world is a brass locomotive hitting the floor. You just don't want to hear that sound. So anybody that's going to spend $2,000 for a locomotive is not going to run it. So I'd say 80 to 85% of all brass today winds up in cases. When you first get into the hobby of model railroading, you strive for simplicity and simple pleasure. When you look at Howard Zane's layout and collection, you can see how pleasure can turn into passion.